how you manage to deal with the disappointments or dealing with the rejection, dealing with not getting that job, not getting that part. Um, how do you, how do you personally cope with those kind of disappointments? I'm, I'm going to only talk about now, the present time, how I cope with them now. I mean, or the present time in the last 10 years. Um, it's expectations. Let go of expectations and those disappointments won't hurt as much. What I do know is that if, as long as I go in to an audition, having understood why I'm going into an audition, um, what does that mean? I've got to be clear going, right, so I've got this moment, I've got this five minutes, and this is the script I've been given, what do they want? My big thing, I really appreciate, I think a lot of you actors should um, hold this to yourself, is that, it's, I, I can't remember where I read it, but it's that thing that you could be the one who makes the difference. So don't go in there on your back foot, but go in there present and going, okay, I've done my work, let's see how this feeds for you. I will also ask questions. I like asking questions of the director, of the casting director again. So what is it you want? What, what is needed? What else can I add to what I'm already doing? I am very, very aware now that I'm in New York, having done the Harry Potter here, talking to actors over here, they do it in a different way. They do it in a way that scares the bejesus out of me. Because, Go on. because they just audition. They have no chance to talk to the directors or the um, casting directors on the very first call. They have to, hi, bye, thank you, go. I'm like, what? No, 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 my good work comes in the talking. My good work comes in the talking, then I can give you more. Um, and I always joke to my friends going, I don't think I would have been uh, a successful actor if I'd grown up, grown up in this paradigm and how you go about getting work. But in terms of uh, London, having chats, I really appreciate. So what I'm trying to say is that the disappointments, especially now is I, I need to know why I'm doing it. I need to know why I'm going up for it. I need to know what, what I'm curious about it for. Um, the biggest thing, especially anyone starting out is that feeling of desperation going, I need to get this. I need to get this because I can pay my bills. I've got something. Da, da, da. It's when it becomes about the bills and living um, and not about the work. That's when things get messy that's when it gets a bit painful because yeah. it is that cliche thing. You're not doing it from your, um, you're not doing it for the story. You're not there for the storytelling. You're there going, what if, what if, what if, as opposed to being present. So stop being what if and be present. Cause I've done the what if and it's messed me up. I've not, I've not done well there. The jobs that I was going, why didn't I get that? I should have got that. Shoulda, woulda, coulda, yada, yada, yada. <laughs>